Hello, dear colleagues. My name is Taner Sığındı from Mula University, Turkey. Today, I will give a presentation about my research topic regarding stakeholder engagement for city brands. This presentation consists of five sections. We will be starting with the motivation and the purpose, then very briefly, a conceptual framework I will be talking about. And then uh, we are going to make a qualitative research about our research problem. Finally, we will finish the presentation with the conclusion part, including the contributions, the comparison, our findings and the literature, and also some limitations and suggestions for the further research. In fact, uh, many city branding strategies fail in practice. Uh, the key reason for this failure is the absence of a program for engaging the local people or businesses and the community groups in building and shaping the brand. So in the marketing literature, there is limited research investigating the concept for city brands. However, engagement is crucial for the success of the city brands and decision makers need to make stakeholders involved in this branding process. In addition, as far, out, far as we know, outcomes of the engagement in city branding is ignored in academia, but this topic needs to be clarified in order to understand the engagement concept better. There are several approaches to clarify the engagement, so different definitions and dimensions were postulated to conceptualize it. Now we are discussing the three prominent approach here in this slide. The first one is the branding, the brand engagement definition explain as the positive influences of identifying with the brand community through the consumer's motivation to interact or cooperate with the community members. And this definition bring us three dimensions, the utilitarian, hedonic, and social. The second definition stress the customer's behavioral manifestation toward the brand. And according to this definition, there are five different dimensions of engagement. These are balance, form, scope, nature, and customer goals. And the third definition is uh, the being engaged is to be involved, occupied, and interested in something. And this definition is related to three dimensions of the engagement. These are cognitive, emotional, and the behavioral dimensions. In fact, this paper is looking for the confirmation for the last one, the third approach. And we are uh, trying to confirm this cognitive, emotional, and behavioral uh, dimensions are valid for the city branding or not. This research uh, consists of deductive, I mean the literature review and the inductive uh, in-depth interview data approach. Therefore, after conducting the literature re review, we utilize semi-structures interview method uh, we use convenience and purposive sampling methods in order to recruit 12 participants. These respondents were five male and seven females. The participants' age were between the 23 and the 62, and the interview took about 
uh, around three, uh, 30 and 40 minutes. The question form consists of two sections. Uh, there are demographic questions in the first section, and then in the second one, we ask respondents to select a city brand which they show high engagement, and we aim to identify the dimensions of engagement and also the consequences of this engagement with our open-end questions. We use thematic analysis to identify the themes. First, we read the interview transcripts to become familiar with their meaning and gain a sense of main themes regarding research aims. We also noted initial thoughts uh, for coding data at this first stage. Then in the second stage, we highlighting uh, with highlighting some parts of the text, we develop initial codes. And then in the third stage, we re reviewed the initial codes and put the similar one in the same group. So created a list of teams. Finally, we prepared the team map. And we come to the findings. Uh, it is shown in this figure as a model. The stakeholder engagement includes three dimensions for the city brand. As shown, uh, the cognitive, emotional, or affective, and behavioral. Uh, dimensions, respondents are categorized as residents, visitors, and investors in depending on the connection with the self-selected city brands. The residents and the visitors show engagement in all three dimensions, but the investors engage in cognitive and the behavioral dimensions. We also identified some prominent expressions of participants, and these expressions were uh, think about comfortable life and resources and the ponder in cognitive dimension, the excitement, low commitment in effective dimension, and finally, search, living, visiting, and to pay attention in the behavioral dimension as the consequences of stakeholder engagement. Attitude, word of mouth, and loyalty are explored, as you see on the right hand side. Also, we noticed that there is no difference in engagement outcomes depending on the role of being a resident, a visitor, or an investor. If you look at each variable, I mean the variables in the consequences, the theme of the attitude includes positive feelings and thoughts about the brand. The word of mouth team includes the respondents to share the topics about city with other people. They do this in daily life and also in social media, by the way. And loyalty team includes the respondents wish to live, visit, or invest in the focal city. Finally, uh, about the conclusion of our study, in general, this paper has provided insights uh, to the, into the nature of the stakeholder engagement with the city brands. In this research, we show that the cognitive, emotional, and behavioral elements, which are the prominent participation dimensions for the goods and the services in the literature, are also valid for the city brands. In addition, we contributed to a better conceptual understanding of the implications of the stakeholder engagement for the city brand. With these results, the decision makers in the city brand management will have more information about the participation of individuals in different roles and also the results of this participation.
Despite the mentioned contributions, uh, several limitations are also associated with this research. First, uh, the qualitative research has a limitation. So our results represent lack of generalizability. The further research may use quantitative methods for instance, structural EQ, uh, SEM, structural equation modeling, in order to overcome this issue. Second, we have only focused on positive engagement on this research. However, past research has also focused on the negative engagement, which shown by the customers in the several service industries. Researchers may take into consideration of the negative uh, engagement in their next projects. At the third, we used momentary data as our data collection method offers or enables us. And the majority of the research about engagement in the marketing discipline have this limitation as well. Therefore, research using some longitudinal data will make significant contribution to this area. Thank you for your attention, dear colleagues. I'll be pleased to answer your questions.